Hello and welcome to another video. This week's video is a hot lap slash setup walkthrough in the Ferrari Evo 2020 at Spa Francorchamps. Here is the the hot lap. Here is the run through of my, my setup for Spa with the Ferrari Evo. Um, we struggled with a lot of oversteer into corners with being on a controller. So one of the things we've done is we've decreased the toe on the front tires just to zero zero, just to help with that a little bit. Electronics, obviously traction control at six, the TC2 at six and the ABS at four. Again, just helps with acceleration out of corners with being on a controller makes it it's a bit little bit trickier to get the power down on a on a trigger rather than on a on a pedal brake pads four because of this is hot lapping or qualifying practice mechanical grip again just to help with the oversteer because it was a real big issue around here we've increased the anti-roll bar on the front by three or four up to quite high and then the wheel rate on the front tires as well is up a, a click or two just to help that and then the preload load differentials up a little bit as well just to help with lift off oversteer as you go into the corners because I found going through the fast chicanes it got a little bit loose as you were changing direction quickly again you can't quite be as smooth on a controller as you can on a on a wheel or it's more difficult so do we say so you're trying to incorporate that into the setup Dampeners, nothing really drastically different here. Really, again, just the front front bumps are a little bit higher than what you would normally do. Again, just to help with that oversteer, high fast high fast bump on the front. Again, just helps with a little bit, helps with the, the understeer coming out of the corner so it's nice and responsive. Aero side of things, pretty pretty balanced, it's just pretty balanced with the ride height front and back, just purely and simply the Ferrari's a twitchy car as it is so we don't need a high high rake setting. Uh, rear ring, 
something that's a personal preference to me is up at near maximum I turn it down one just for the the qualifying runs and then the the brake ducts are pretty closed especially on the rear just helps with keeping the temperatures in the tires and there we have it I hope you found this this helpful uh, if you did please leave a leave a like it'd be much appreciated and comment in the comment section where where you would like to see me go next and what cars you would like to see thank you very much thank you very much for watching and see you next time